Hello, so in this video I wanted to show you a do-it-yourself trick for having foaming hand wash that is super cheap, pennies for the bottle, and how to do it, it really all comes down to the pump rather than the soap itself. So what you're going to do is the first time around you're going to go out and you're going to buy yourself a foaming hand wash, um, and it's just so you can get the pump, look at the container, make sure it's sturdy, make sure it's something that's going to hold up to um, a lot of use. Um, it doesn't feel flimsy. Um, we really like this one, so this is Live Clean, and the only downside that we found is the finish on the bottle tends to take in a little bit of extra dirt. Um, so it's got some discoloration, but the pump itself is fantastic, and I believe you can find this one on Amazon. We got it at our local grocery store, but Amazon has it too if you want a reliable pump. Um, as you can hear, it's empty now. Don't refill it with liquid soap. If you buy refills for liquid soap, you are mostly paying for water. And how they trick you into doing that, flip it over. It's not going to say water is the first ingredient. It's going to say something like aqua. So that's water. You're paying for it. Don't do that. Instead, get the pump and then pick your favorite detergent, whether it's a dish detergent or maybe you like a, a regular bathroom hand soap. Buy the big old refill bottle because it's cheaper that way. Um, also, I mean, we can get one of these. This is 828 milliliters. That's 28 fluid ounces on sale for $1.99. And you can often find dish soaps in the dollar store. So you're already getting a lot of soap super cheap. But then watch this. You are going to take your liquid hand soap pump. You are going to fill it approximately four fifths. And I don't know if you can actually hear me over the water. So you're going to fill it approximately four fifths full. You need to have some space left at the top because we're going to shake the detergent and the water together at the end. If you fill all the way up to the top, it won't shake, it won't mix properly. And so the blob of soap will sink to the bottom and it's going to clog your straw. So we don't want to do that. Water for four fifths of the way and then your detergent of choice. And I'm a fan of palm olive. It's already soft on hands. Um, I like when we find the apple scent one, um, but just whatever one you want to use. If you have really bad hands in the winter, mine are in terrible condition right now, but they're so much better. Foaming soap is easier on them. So take your stuff that messes up your hands, dilute it. What you're going to do is just put a healthy splop, a big old blorp in there, and it's not a fine measurement. It doesn't have to be. Don't worry about it. But if you saw how much went in, think about how long that bottle is going to last for. It's amazing. Screw on the lid and then give it a good shake. And once you hear that the water's not sloshing quite as much, that tells you that there's a good amount of foam in there. You've probably gotten rid of that thicker soap. It's spread out more. Then you stop and you just pump up enough to you know that the straw is working and it's ready for your next use. So this trick has been working for us for six to eight months now. Um, I have bottles of soap that I have not gone through yet, um, just because it seriously is one squeeze at a time and I'm getting an entire bottle of foaming hand soap out of it. I love it. So I hope that trick is helpful for you. Um, and just if you have other tricks for, you know, the simple ways to save money around the house, I would love to hear it get that off of me and um just if this video was helpful and if it's saving you money like share and my goal right now i'm trying to reach 2,000 subscribers so if you did find this video interesting or helpful please subscribe i hope you have a great day all the best bye